going on guys welcome back to another exciting episode today we're going to be taking a look at the new spro kgb chad chad collab one of the hottest glide baits right now on the market so if you guys are ready let's get right into today's video so a little backstory about this guy right here is last year me and ben from the hookup we went to icast 2022 and spro had a booth there and luckily enough kevin brightwell the owner of KGB he was actually there and we were able to talk to him about this bait and this collab that he did with Spro and so if you guys don't know the original KGB Chad Chad it's a very very popular resin glide bait that Kevin's been making for quite a few years now very very popular bait and so it seemed that Spro and Kevin both wanted to make this a more mass produced bait and get into more guys' hands. So they collabed and they were able to make this ABS version of the KGB Chad Chad. And so that was kind of cool being able to actually talk to him there in person to like know like, oh, that's really cool that this big brand Spro was actually able to collab with a small bait maker and not just kind of take and act like it's their own design or own idea which some other companies have done and it was so i thought it was really cool that spro got together with kevin to make the actual collab bait so this is the bait we're gonna spec it out right now it shut up gopro it is 180 millimeters which is around like seven inches it weighs two and a half ounces so Overall, it's a pretty snack size bait. Not too big, not too heavy. You don't really need any crazy extra swim bait gear to fish this bait. We're gonna go over gear here in a second. It comes with Gamakatsu treble hooks. I swapped them out. Funnily enough, the first time actually fishing with this bait, I went out with my buddy CJ and the first 20 minutes of casting it and seeing how this thing worked, I caught an eight pounder. Unfortunately, it did bend out the front treble hook on the bait, but we were still able to land the fish. But after that, I was like, okay, like the hooks are good enough if you don't really like horse the fish in too much. But the fish was diving next to the boat and I kind of wanted to get it in, bent out the hooks. So I just swapped out to the normal hooks that I like to use, the owner ST45s. But other than that, it's a great little snack size bait. The sink rate you'll see here in a second is a slow sink. It's a bit on the faster side of slow sink for me, but for a chop style glide, which is what this is, it, it, it makes sense in the long run. So what I mean by a choppy glide is that this thing really likes to walk on itself and really chop. It's not like a fluid, long glide like you'll get out of like a depths to 50 or a hinkle trout or anything like that it's really a short snappy side to side action that the chad chad has been really known for and a lot of guys especially recently have been really liking the more choppy glides and it really gets those fish to react i mean that eight pounder i caught i watched it eat it right next to the boat and i just gave it a quick little one two snap and the bait was able to kind of chop on itself and the fish just fucking crushed it right next to the boat. So it's definitely has a place for, you know, when the fish are pretty juiced up and they want something a bit on the faster side, you don't really need to like, you know, pause it like with the glide where it's glide, 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 glide. And then you pause. This is more of like a steady, like chop, 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 like, the pauses are gonna be a lot shorter. So this style of glide bait is gonna be perfect for those fish that are a little more fired up, that are more used to feeding on, you know, fast moving gizzard shad or herring or just bigger thread pin. This is gonna be a fantastic bait. And overall, the bait being mass produced has cut the cost down to $59.99, I believe, for the Spro. Now, the original Chad Chad, I believe those are going for double, if not triple the price. So overall, it's a good price point for a bait that swims very similar to the original Chad Chad is what Kevin was kind of aiming for. And that's how you get this bait right here. So the gear that I've been throwing the Chad Chad on, it's kind of like a 
medium heavy or a medium light swim bait rod. This just so happens to be the Mega Bass Mark 56. It's rated three quarters to three ounces. So it fits in that range perfect. It loads up great on the cast. When I was fighting that eight pounder, it had a nice deep parabolic bend to it. So it kept the, the fish hooked and pinned. So I didn't really have to worry about it, you know, pulling hooks or anything like that. The real, you don't really need anything crazy. You're gonna be looking at like a 200 size reel or so, like 200, 250. You can definitely go up to a 300 size reel, but it's definitely not necessary. So there's a lot of guys that own like the Tatula 200 or the Corrado 200, very popular size reels. You could totally just get that reel and use that for this bait. So you don't have to get like a crazy, super dedicated, expensive swim bait rod to throw a bait like this. The line, you can go anywhere from 20 pound. Right now I'm fishing it on 16 pound. Either 16 to 20 pound would be perfect. If you jump up to 25, it might start changing the action on the bait a little bit and you might not get as well of a chop as you'd want. But overall, I'd say 16 to 20 pound is pretty good. Uh, gear ratio, anywhere from seven to eight is probably really perfect. Obviously you can get away with it at like a six if you only have a six. You would just have to give it a lot more rod input to get it to do the actual correct chop. And that is the new Spro and KGB collab Chad Chat. Overall, this thing is actually really, really dope. Like I said, for 60 bucks, it's a great entry level glide bait, especially a glide bait that swims as well as this one does and it's proven like so many guys have been posting catches on this bait the original chad chad kevin's a really cool guy it was great talking to him at icast and seeing the product like i said i think a big plus to this is that spro didn't just take the chad chad and mold it and make it their own and and just kind of blatantly knock it off it was nice to see that a big company saw a smaller bait maker and said hey Let's come together and collab and both benefit from this relationship. So again, huge shout out to Spro for doing that. Not many bait, big bait companies are doing that these days, it feels like. So if you guys have tried it yourself, let me know how you guys are doing with the bait. If you're catching fish on it or if it's not your jam, let me know with a comment down below. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, go out there and chase your dreams.